Today we're going to talk about how to get into the Perelman School of Medicine. Sometimes referred to as UPenn Medical School, the Perelman School of Medicine is America's oldest medical school and teaching hospital. It's also one of the most renowned medical programs in the nation. According to US News and World Report, it's ranked number three in research and number 14 in primary care. So if you dream of earning your white coat from the prestigious and historic Perelman School of Medicine, get ready to compete against the best of the best. The mission of UPenn Medical School is to advance knowledge and improve health through research, patient care, and the education of trainees in an inclusive culture that embraces diversity, fosters innovation, stimulates critical thinking, supports lifelong learning, and sustains a legacy of excellence. For over 250 years, the Perelman School of Medicine has fulfilled this mission and produced groundbreaking leaders in medicine. If you're a high-achieving pre-med who dreams of attending UPenn Medical School, we're here to help make your dream a reality. I'm Dr. Eve Bishop, medical school admissions expert from Shamasian Academic Consulting. In this video, we'll explore the Perelman School of Medicine curriculum before looking at the costs, acceptance rate, and admissions requirements. We'll give you expert strategies to write the UPenn Medical School secondaries and break down the UPenn interview to maximize your odds of getting accepted to the Perelman School of Medicine. Let's get started. The Perelman School of Medicine's four-year MD curriculum focuses on small group instruction and self-directed learning. The three main themes woven through the curriculum are number one, the science of medicine, number two, the technology and practice of medicine, and number three, professionalism and humanism. In year one, UPenn Medical School students focus on the core principles of science and clinical medicine while attending their choice of elective seminars in global health, community service, medical Spanish, and bioethics. At the same time, students gain early clinical experience at local hospitals and community clinics. The official clerkships begin midway through year two of the curriculum, which is about six months earlier than other standard med school programs. In four to nine week segments, students rotate through required clerkships in internal medicine, family medicine, OBGYN, pediatrics, surgery, psychiatry, neurology, and emergency medicine. After these required clerkships are completed, about halfway through year three, students take the USMLE Step 1 exam. Then they complete advanced electives and a sub-internship in general medicine, general pediatrics, emergency medicine, or family medicine to further strengthen their clinical expertise. In the fourth and final year of the program, students partner with faculty to conduct a 12-week research project. The last few months are spent interviewing for residency placements and preparing to transition into successful medical careers. Beyond its four-year MD program, the Perelman School of Medicine offers a distinguished and fully funded MD-PhD program. MD-PhD students receive full tuition scholarships plus a $32,000 annual stipend. If you dream of advancing the understanding of science and medicine by working as a physician scientist, this program would be ideal for you. UPenn Medical School offers several other dual degree programs for students who want to further specialize and make unique contributions to the broad field of medicine. These include an MD Master of Bioethics, an MD MBA in Healthcare Management, an MD ML in Health Law, and an MD MPH. We encourage you to evaluate your own specific career goals to decide if one of these programs is right for you. The 2019 to 2020 tuition at Perelman School of Medicine was $60,000. The total cost of attendance, including room, board, supplies, and transportation is about $90,000 per year. While this may seem steep, it's important to note that UPenn Medical School offers need-based scholarships and loans to 86% of its students. Perelman School of Medicine also awards 30 full tuition scholarships each year. All applicants are automatically considered for these awards and recipients are chosen based on their outstanding academic achievement unique intellectual interests, and proven leadership abilities. You must be wondering, what are your chances of getting accepted to the Perelman School of Medicine? In 2019, over 6,500 students applied for admission. Of those applicants, 707, or 11%, were invited to interview. While the number of admitted students isn't made public, we can assume around 200 to 250 students, or 3 to 4%, were accepted. Ultimately, 150 students, or 2% of total applicants matriculated. If these numbers make you nervous about getting into UPenn Medical School, you're not alone. The Perelman School of Medicine is a reach for even the most high-achieving pre-meds. Let's look at the stats of accepted students to get a better idea of your admissions odds. 
In 2019, the median GPA of accepted students was 3.92, and the 25th to 75th percentile GPA range was 3.72 to 4.0. The median MCAT score was 521, or the 98th percentile, and the MCAT range was from 517 to 525, or the 94th to 100th percentile. These stats show that in order to be a competitive applicant, you'll need impressive academics. If you're planning to take the MCAT soon, check out our comprehensive MCAT study guide. We share the best strategies to help you maximize your score. Link in the description box below. What else does UPenn Medical School look for in its applicants besides strong academic stats? Let's look at the additional admissions requirements next. The Paralympic School of Medicine doesn't set specific course requirements for its applicants, but it expects them to demonstrate competencies in several key subjects. These include English, communication, biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, and behavioral disciplines such as history, philosophy, political science, sociology, or psychology. This wide range of disciplines shows UPenn's desire to enroll holistic med students with unique perspectives. Considering UPenn Medical School's strong reputation for research, it should come as no surprise that 97% of its accepted students have research experience. By engaging in research, you demonstrate to the admissions committee that you align with Perelman's mission to advance knowledge and improve health through discovery. The vast majority of matriculants also have experience in medical volunteering, shadowing, and community service. When pursuing extracurricular activities, consider how you might use them to illustrate who you are and what you're passionate about. Don't select your experience randomly just to check off boxes on your med school applications. Try to focus each activity towards your interests, so that even on their own, they tell a story about you. After meeting all the admissions requirements and having competitive stats, you'll submit your AMCAS application to the Perelman School of Medicine. But your work won't be over. Next, you'll be asked to answer a comprehensive set of questions designed to ensure a holistic review process. These range from simple yes or no questions, to lists of achievements, to free response essays. Remember that secondary prompts occasionally change, so regardless of the prompt, remember to give answers that demonstrate how you fit with UPenn Medical School's unique mission and its values of diversity, innovation, critical thinking, lifelong learning, and excellence. Your ultimate goal is to prove you're the ideal candidate for the Perelman School of Medicine. You'll give a simple yes or no response to this question. You may also choose to list the online courses you took as well as the grades you earned. If your answer is no, leave this answer blank. But if you have been nominated for or received any relevant awards, you'll want to provide a list of them. Share the name of the award, the organization that awarded it, and the year you received it. If you plan to take a gap year or are already in one when you apply to UPenn Medical School, you'll want to use this opportunity to demonstrate how your time off will make you an even better medical school candidate. How will you pursue and develop your passions? What new skills will you master? What goal do you have for your gap year? Remember, many students take gap years before enrolling in medical school, but not everyone will maximize their time off. You can stand out by making sure you do. This question asks you to give a direct and to the point retelling of your international experiences. You should list your study abroad trips, cultural exchanges, or medical mission trips here. When describing your activities, focus on how you developed your cultural awareness and increased your ability to work with diverse populations. You can approach this question in a couple of different ways. You might take the opportunity to share a unique connection you have to UPenn Medical School or reveal a special situation you'd like them to take into account. On the other hand, many students will interpret this as a standard diversity essay. If you take this route, you can focus on the unique perspectives and values you can bring to the Perelman School of Medicine. What qualities, skills, or experience do you have that will benefit the UPenn community and contribute to its mission? This question is a version of the typical adversity essay, but geared solely toward economic hardships. Instead of focusing on how bad your challenge or experience was, use this essay to demonstrate how you managed the stress of the situation or how you rose to the occasion and did what you needed to support your family. Show the actions you took to resolve the issue and identify what you learned through the experience. How has that hardship impacted who you are today? For more advice on how to write an adversity essay, including a full-length example, be sure to check out our Medical School Secondary Essay Guide. Link in the description below. Here's another straightforward question where you can answer honestly and directly if it applies to you. Otherwise, you can skip this section. Ultimately, this question is asking you why UPenn Medical School. 
you want to identify what about Perelman's mission programs, faculty, or resources most excite you. But don't stop at expressing a relevant interest. Instead, show how your experiences led you to form this interest, which can be uniquely pursued and encouraged at UPenn. For example, if you would love to work with a specific faculty member on their groundbreaking cancer treatment research studies, start by sharing the personal experience that first got you interested in treating cancer. Including this type of narrative will help your essay stand out. When you finish this video, be sure to check out our supplemental guide, How to Get Into Perelman School of Medicine, for a full-length example of this essay response. Link in the description below. Your answers to this final question are not considered in your admissions review, but will be used to accommodate you if you receive an invitation to interview. Since these questions are optional, you can feel free to skip them if you prefer. Otherwise, you should answer them in a straightforward fashion. If you write standout essays, have impressive extracurriculars, and earn competitive academic stats, you might earn your spot among the 11% of applicants who are invited to interview with the Perelman School of Medicine. This means you've almost made it, but still have an important test to pass. The interview will test your communication skills, personality fit, and authenticity with your med school application. UPenn Medical School conducts its interviews in a traditional format. Expect to attend a full interview day that includes an orientation, meeting students, a financial aid discussion, and an introduction to the curriculum. You'll have two separate interviews with faculty members. Be prepared to discuss your research experiences and interests in depth. You should also remember to ask the faculty about their own research. People love to talk about their passions. If you can have an enthusiastic conversation with your interviewer about their research interests, you'll be sure to make a strong impression. For all our best tips on how to ace your medical school interview, check out our medical school interview guide. We'll prepare you to put your best foot forward and be memorable on interview day. Link in the description below. There you have it. Everything you need to know about how to get into the Perelman School of Medicine. By following the advice in this video, you can maximize your admissions odds and make your UPenn medical school dreams come true. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you'd like to learn more about the med school admissions process, click the link in the description to get our free comprehensive guide, How to Get Into Medical School. The guide contains a lesson on tackling medical school secondary application essays, where we go even more in depth on secondary essay strategies. All right, thanks again for watching. See you next time.